what you say is live. Dun, 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 dun. I was thinking, Grandma, there's there's a problem with this thumbnail picture. Oh, yeah. It's Grandma's old-fashioned apple pie, but you look too young to be Grandma. <gasps> oh, thank you. We are live. Whoa. I am. Dave Lightman has posted three times. Wow, Dave Lightman. Are you first, Dave Lightman? This seems to say we're live. Oh, hi, Marissa. There must Hello. be a delay in saying how many people are on. Let's see. Hello. Hello! Yay! I see people! Yes. Hello! There are people there! We're not alone! <laughs> Joanne, Janet, Denise, Ramona, Des! Hi! Sandra, Sharon, Katie, Joe, Karen, Trina, Debbie, Mindy! Wow! Glad to have all of you here today! Thank Hi. goodness it's Friday, right dear? Can you make it Friday now? Well, we could... Do a quick change and I could put the apron on. Yeah. You'll be like, no, get over here, give me that. Say, see you making a pie from scratch. Hey, I could Sorry. do it. You give I me enough have, hours. I don't, I was going to say, I don't have confidence in you to do it. I can't even do it. Oh, thank you, Joanne. Joanne's telling us she's so enjoying the Thrive Fruits. Yay, I'm glad you, I love them. Peaches are my favorite, but they're the only one. Well, I tried strawberries, peaches and strawberries. I'd like to try the mangoes or something. You should give me those other ones that I liked. I forgot what they were. The pomegranate We're things? here, Mike. Thank you, Denise. Yeah, the pomegranate things. Hi, Hello. Paloma. Hello. What are we up to today, Leslie is asking. We are making Grandma's Old Fashioned Apple Pie. But I will tell you, I kid you not, I just put the show pie in five minutes ago. <laughs> Which means we're going to have to stretch the show to get it out of the oven. Uh, I'm having one of these days where I'm like... Why did I do this? Um, okay. Pie is one of those things where you need to practice it. I'm not going to tell you you're going to make it perfectly right away. Um, and so I will tell you right now, I am not a professional pie baker, but I can make a very tasty pie, I just can't make a pretty tasty pie. Well, that's one looked pretty good. Oh, well, thank you for your confidence. That was nice. Oh, I wasn't even trying to be nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, what I would do is if you want to learn to make pies, I would spend one Christmas or Thanksgiving and make like 10 or 15 pies all in a row and give them to your neighbors. And then you'll get the practice you need to make a pie, okay? And if it tells you anything, I've got my chamomile tea here. She wasn't doing so well today, just before well, the show. I had a product I was supposed to review. And oh. I really, really like this company, so I'm not going to tell you about what happened with this product. But it has been an all-day ordeal with this product that I was supposed to review with this apple pie today. So you're not reviewing it now. So I'm not reviewing it now. And I feel really bad because I'm just going to have to tell the people I'm sorry, I can't review it. And I was literally having to get the screwdriver to chisel pieces apart. Oh, I didn't know about that. <laughs> Denise is asking how you're feeling. I'm not feeling good. And it was... I kid you not, it was 10 times more expensive than I thought it would be. And it didn't do half the, it only did one of the three things I thought it was going to do. And I just, yeah, I'm not feeling it today. So. Well, maybe Carrie Ann's comment will perk you up. She says, comment. that book sits on my counter and never moves. I use it so often, best money spent. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie Ann. I needed something today. Not to mention my foot is sending horrible shooting pains up my leg. So Aww, sorry. But I have good news. Hand me that box right so, there. Should Mike embarrass himself again so that it takes the pressure off you? No. Right there, Dave, <laughs> the, the Cheerios. But I have good news. After searching all over, Mike found me. 
Pumpkin <gasps> Cheerios! Yay! I was so excited. Being gluten free, I miss pumpkin stuff, which actually stuff made with pumpkin with gluten with gluten free flours actually turns out better than anything. But pumpkin spice Cheerios, Cheerios. I think I should get a year's worth for promoting you, but these are the best things ever. And no, they're not paying me for this. And no, I didn't get these for free. Mike bought these for me. You got so, them for free. When Cheerios goes on sale, let me know, guys, because I'm gonna go stock up. So. Ooh, Jen says, "Oh, yummy," and she says she's from the Philippines. Ooh. Katie Joe says, "You look nice in purple." Well, thank you. Okay. So here we go. Diana Dime Cookbook, page two forty-seven. Dining on a Dime Cookbook, page 247. I'm going to... No, I'm not doing this right. Actually, put the link for the homemade pie, please. Oops. Actually, oh. I'm going to make Damn. the... Because the lights are so hot, it's I'm going to so actually hot. make the pilling, filling first. What? Old-fashioned. Old-fashioned, yes. I'm going to actually make like the it. filling first because um, the lights will get the crust too soft. So... Let me get my apples peeled here, and Mike will put a link to our Amazon store, my favorite apple peeler. Ooh, is that in the store? I didn't see it. Oh, uh, I think it is. I put it in there the other day. It probably is. I just didn't look for that. Okay. All right, so <laughs> I will show you my favorite apple peeler. Oops. And then... Um, I'm sharing the link for that for the Amazon store. If there's something you see there you like... Uh, we do get a little commission from that, which helps us to do this. Ooh. You know what? I think I'm going to say what happened with the thing I was going to review today and just not tell the name where I got it from. Oh, okay. Don't you think? I mean, sure. it was just absolutely incredible. The whole thing was just crazy. Okay. Oh, I know. I wiped my nose. Sorry, guys. Okay. Let me wash my hands for all those people who are going to yell at me. Good word. <laughs> okay, there. Well, Mindy just had leftovers tonight so she can watch the show unedited. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> so we're going to turn our leftovers into stir fry, which we have a great recipe on our site if you need one. Forgot to tell Mike about that, I guess. Wait, say that again? Stir fry. Oh, I can go look for it. Okay, so just get your apples all peeled. This is a great peeler, core, and slicer all in one. I love it. Wait, what's I looking for on the website of stir fry? I use this all the time, pretty much every time I do anything with apples. At least baking, I should say. Well, did you buy that? This? Recently? It seems like you've had that for ages. This one I've had for 20 years. I was trying to At remember least. how long it's been. It's supposed to suction to the counter, but... Oh! Me to use it and I suctioned it right to the camera like 10 years ago. <laughs> I thought the suction was broke. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. So I'm showing that stir fry recipe uh, right now. You just said that's an easy dinner, is that what you were saying? Yeah. Okay, so if you need an easy dinner, here's one. Okay, this is gonna be the show where Tara officially loses it. <laughs> well, do you need help? No. Okay, oh, I'm not a therapist my or <laughs> So if there's any asylums that are taking new patients, please tell me where I can go. I want to sit on a beach and paint I in my just... chair all day long. And Wait, on a beach? <laughs> Not on the beach, overlooking the beach on grass, so I don't I have see. to touch sand. <sighs> I can't believe this. 20 years I've been using this dumb thing. <laughs> Do we, can we make the pie crust gluten free? You can do it if you want, but it is not going to be the same. But will it work at all? Sort of, but I mean, the problem with baking with gluten free is things like pie crust and sandwich breads just really don't turn out the same as regular bread. They probably fall apart easier. 
They fall apart yeah, easier, they taste grainy, and quite frankly, I would rather just make the guts of an apple pie and not um, put a crust on it, which is what I do, than to eat a gluten-free pie crust. I don't think it's worth it. Um, but do whatever you want. You know, you can use like Pamela's or anything like that. Patty and Longmont wants to know what kind of apples you're using today. Okay, oh yeah, oh boy. This is gonna be a controversy. Why, they're delicious. I know, but it's gonna be a controversy. So what I do for apples is I use Gala or Red Delicious. <gasps> I know. Why is that a controversy? Because everybody uses Granny Smith or something like that. Yes, yes, you can point down. How can you say it's grandma's recipe when you don't use Granny Smith? Well, that's true. <laughs> but here's the thing. Those apples are just way too sour. I do not like a sour apple pie. And I eat these apple pies, and quite frankly, they're just nasty. Um, with the Granny Smith apples. And so I use Gala or Red Delicious. So I know all you apple pie bakers out there are going to say, well, that's not the way grandma did it, but I'm making it better than grandma. <laughs> so there you go. Now, my grandma, <laughs> she didn't even use apples. She used canned apples and not canned apple pie filling, just canned apples, specifically Musselman's. And everyone just swears my grandma has the best apple pie ever. So does mom, but that's mom's pie crust because mom has the best. So grandma has a good apple pie, but mom has the best pie crust. So it's a good thing grandma doesn't watch her videos. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm just putting these in a little bit of lemon water just to keep them from turning brown. Okay. All right. So, got that. Uh, now I'm going to drain them here real quick. Cindy says, my favorite dessert apple pie. I wish I, we had a smell video. I love this apple pie so much. When I was a kid, I would never eat apple pie. Now, I'm throwing these in the microwave for just a minute because... I don't like apple pie that's not done either. Tons and tons of times you'll eat, probably nine times out of 10, you'll eat apple pie and it will be half cooked. And I can't stand that either. <laughs> I'm very picky on my pies. I just really don't like pie unless it's a really good pie. Um, and so we microwave the apples just a few minutes to get them just a little bit softer, okay? All right, so now I'm going to add my sugar and my brown sugar. Oh, man, a lot of ideas coming across today. Oh, what did I do that for? Oh, my goodness, not that much brown sugar. Well, I guess it'd just be really tasty. Oh man. Okay, there we go. All right, next. And then my salt. The world needs more salt, people. And my cinnamon and nutmeg. And yeah, okay. So I'm going to stir this up. Now, if you have a question or comment that's not about the recipe, we'll probably be answering most of those after. Yeah, we'll get them after we're done. Now, I do add cornstarch to mine because, which isn't on the recipe on the website, but I'll just put it all in there. Um, because the Gala and the Red Delicious apples are more juicy, this helps thicken it up a whole lot better, okay? All right, so let's see. We got that done. Got that done. Like um, you never tell your mom's pie story. <laughs> my mom's. Oh, <laughs> yeah, mom's pie story. That's fun. Um, okay, so now let us get 
a bowl because I have no bowl. Okay. Oh my goodness. Mm. Okay. Sorry for that moment there. Um, okay, where am I? Pie crust. So, this is in Dining on a Dime Cookbook, page 247, pie crust. Page 249 is apple pie filling that you can make ahead of time. And um, freeze. And this is really, really super yummy. And I love this recipe. So if you have a ton of apples that you need to use up right now, this is a good recipe to do it. All right. Oh, Vernon says caramel apple pie, my favorite. Oh, caramel apple pie would be really good. Okay, <laughs> now this pie crust on page 247, which Mike is putting the link to on the thing. The pie crust, right? Is mom's, yes. So we got our flour and our salt. And I have no idea why this recipe is three crusts. Makes no sense to me at all because all we need is two crusts. So, <laughs> I just break everything down a third. Putting in my sugar. All right, and then my shortening. So, here I say I hardly ever use shortening and I use it two shows in a row. But hey, that's all right. So, I need... All right. So to measure shortening, I already have some in here because I mismeasured earlier when I was doing it. And um, shortening is what makes your pie crust very flaky and flaky. It just, you can use butter if you want, but it's really frankly not the same. And I really don't recommend it, but hey. If you're on that track and that's what you want to do, go for it. Okay, so then you take your shortening and you can use a pastry knife or two knives. I use my fingers and quickly break up the shortening into the flour to little pieces of cornmeal, just like so. Okay? <clears throat> now, then you're going to add your vinegar. Yes, I said vinegar. And, and pie. I did not know that. Or and an egg. Yep. And I'm not doing the whole egg because we're doing part. And then cold water. Oh, Tracy in UK is asking what is cornstarch? I don't know. It's just cornstarch. I mean, Google it. I have no idea how you would. It's just. The starch from corn. How do I get it at Amazon.co.uk? Oh, I'm sure they have to have it in the UK. I would think so. But I don't know. Jamie wants to know if the Smeans are coming over to bring her pie. Yeah, so that's how we met Jamie was last year when I made this recipe. Jamie said, oh, bring me that pie. And Mike and I said, okay. Oh, it was for Friday too. We, we, got going lost. Out. we got lost. We spent an hour driving around a town we go to every single day trying to find her house. And finally met her. I found out she makes soap. And we've been really good friends ever since. So see, take your neighbor and friends a pie. You'll never know when you'll meet a new friend. <laughs> Cassie okay. says corn flour. Is corn flour the same thing? I would guess it's the same. I wouldn't know for sure, but I would guess it's the same. Okay, so then you're going to take your dough and you're going to roll it out. Okay. Now, as I said, I am not the world's best pie maker. I hate baking cookies and pies. I just don't have the patience for it. I am a brownie kind of a person or bar cookie kind of a person. I just want to throw it in the pan and move on with life. But every now and then, Mike wants an apple pie. So I make it for him. I love apple pies. The little bit of ice cream on them on the day I can eat. 
Uh, Caliber is oh, okay. asking where am I at? if you can cut the recipe for the crust. She said yeah. some don't do well when cut in half. I do mine in a third, and I just kind of guesstimate. <laughs> but it always works out, so. So far, I haven't had a failure. So this is my favorite tool for making pies and breads. I love it. It's in our Amazon store. Okay, so do it in half. I'm doing about a quarter. Then take your pan and put it in here and hope that you can unfold it in one piece. If not, can, kind you, of. can you mush it together where it's separate? Yes. So then if you don't get it folded into one piece, you take little pieces like this and, okay, get your bottom down. All right. And then piece the edges together like this. You guys see what I'm doing? Yes, looks great. And like this. And like this. And I just go in and fill in, okay? Now, as I said, I am not the prettiest pie baker in the world, but it is tasty, isn't it, dear? You're quite pretty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, hey, we got a couple answers for Tracy. Andrea says you can use arrowroot in the UK. Oh, Your mom says it's okay to use flour in place of the cornstarch. Oh, yes, you can just use flour, yeah. You can just use flour. So there you go, Tracy. Um, we have the awesomest. And this friends. is regular, all-purpose flour. Right there. Okay. So there's section number one. Okay, and then I'm taking my apples, pouring my mixture over, and mixing it around. Okay, now you can bake the pie crust just a bit if you want, but you don't always have to. Now, like I said, I'm gluten free, so what I do for these things is I just make the pie filling. So I'll make pie, pie pumpkin pie filling, because I love pumpkin pie, and just make it a pumpkin custard instead. So you can do it however you want. Oh, hey, Patty. Patty says I've looked everywhere for that scraper. Uh, we, hang on, we've got our, we have an Amazon store where we just put it in there and it's like the first row of items or first or second row of items on there. So I'm pasting the link in right now if you want to go to Amazon and see it. It's all very right. handy. Then I don't pour all of this juice in there because I don't want it too juicy, okay? But what you can do is this juice makes a really good uh, French toast syrup or um, pancake syrup. So it works really well for that. Okay, now for the top pie, for the top crust. Okay. Now let's see Jonathan's if I can. Here. Hello, Jonathan. Let's see if I can get it prettier this time. I don't know if I can. All right. So I'm gonna try a little bit harder this time to make this one pretty. Oh, a whole bunch of other other British people are saying it is corn flour in the UK. It is corn flour in the UK. Okay, so now know. we know. And Anne in the UK says it's her first time watching. Hello, Anne. Thank you for joining us. And there's... Okay. Now. And Eddie's mom is also joining for the first time. So glad that I finally got a live show. Yay! Okay, now I need a kitchen counter that's about 
six times, ten times bigger than what it is, but. You need your tech guy to be off the counter. <laughs> All right. Now. Here's the flies. Oh, I don't know what point <laughs> Don't worry about it right now, but. All right, now. Let's see how we do here. Your mom said that's my old pie pan. <laughs> yes, this is mom's old pie pan. All right, well, I got it on. Not sure how pretty it's gonna be. So when it's not pretty, what you do is you just call it a rustic apple pie. <laughs> see, just change the name. Well, people go out of their way to make it look rustic. I know. So see, I'm just doing it rustically. And then you just tell all your friends and family how it's rustic, okay? <laughs> Here, we'll make it a little more rustic just so that it really looks rustic, okay? Here, let's do this. Let's do that. And there. Oh, I forgot to put the butter in. Okay, well, don't do as I do. Do as I say. Before you put the pie in, put several pats of butter on top. Okay. <laughs> See, now we're making it real rustic here. Okay? Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so now you can pinch it if you want. Or you can use a fork if you want. I usually just pinch it because my hands are already messed up. Brigida says, I love the way you make the recipe so fast. That's really it, guys. It really doesn't take long. Everybody says they don't have time to cook at home, but it really doesn't take <laughs> much time, you know? Um, and that's what I want to show you guys. That's why I like doing the live shows because... You can see how fast it actually goes. Okay, I think. <laughs> All right, I gotta sit down. I'm sorry. Um. Okay, so then get there now. Actually, maybe it was wrong. Is it still visible? <sighs> Usually I cut a K in top, so whatever your last name is, cut that initial so that the steam can come out. Or if there's an awkward hole, then just cut it into the, the letter that's closest to the shape of the There hole. you go. See? You got it. <laughs> People will say, why is there an R on there? And we then... Recycled. <laughs> we recycled. Then sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top. I have no idea if this is the recipe how it goes, but hey. Okay, so I sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top. All right, so then, hold on a second. Oh, Celeste says, when I forget the butter, I slip chunks into slits in the crust, and it works great. Yes, I was thinking about doing that, but I don't think I can walk to the refrigerator to get the butter. Well, do you butter. want me to get it for you? No, it's all right. Okay. I don't have the energy to watch you go get to get it. <laughs> Tara's having a little problem today. For those of you who don't know, she has a chronic illness, and today apparently it's... Okay, now make sure, first of all, that you don't have pie dough all over the bottom of your pie pan. Okay, make sure you put it on a cookie sheet or something like that because um, it might spill over, which my first one has already done. So... See if we can get this in without yeah, burning did. myself. Oh, I need to swap them out. There. Okay. This one needs. Okay. So my my original one needs about ten more minutes of cooking, and so then I will um, bring it out of the oven. Now, if you want to make the three pie crust. The, no, the three crust recipe. You can take the extra crust and roll it out. And mom used to roll it out or any leftovers and put cinnamon and sugar on them and bake them. And we would eat them like a little cookie. So. Um, oh, somebody said that she makes leaves out of them and puts them on top of yes. the pie. You can make leaves. You can make whatever, little apples. You can make whatever you want. If you have cookie cutters, you can do whatever you want. Now this is why I love this thing. Just one second. <laughs> Jennifer says all my cooking is rustic. Yes, <laughs> mine is too usually. And I love that it scrapes everything up 
just so nice and neat. Yes, you what cute you little making? guy, you apple pie. <gasps> but you know what? Ellie made you a treat over on the table. <gasps> your favorite treat. One of your favorite this? treats. Yeah, well, we're not going to discuss that That's right now. <laughs> I'll tell you about it when the show's over, Jack. Um, okay, so if you want to eat that treat, you may, Jack. So, Margaret. It's no big punch. How many can I have? Margaret was have a couple. commenting that you can wrap the dough in plastic and put it in a bag and freeze it. Yes, you can. You yeah. can. Yeah. So, what I would do is make a double recipe and freeze four of the pie crusts. And freeze them in the in the like in each crust size. I think is easier. Hey, but. Jack. Cherie says hi. Uh, Diana, do you have vanilla ice cream? Yummy. I think we do, cause I went completely yeah, we bananas and and got it when we were making milkshakes when Tara was gone. Did you? Yes. I I got like three gallons. We already had three gallons. <laughs> okay. So I. Made soap yesterday, so I'm gonna cut some of it today because I promised you guys I would. And then we're gonna talk and answer questions. And yes. So Lillian said, brave lady, that's why I buy my pie crust all made up, but rustic might just be the way to go. Lillian, I'm telling you, this is awesome tasting pie crust. Yeah. It's so much better than Rust store pie. Yeah. It doesn't even compare. Honestly, even if the pie, pie completely disintegrated on the plate and you were just put a little scoop of ice cream on there, yep. it's the most delicious thing ever. Dave. It's, it's never failed except Dave. Jill thought Dave she failed at one time. There. See, she was she was telling stories about me the other day, so now I can tell stories about her. So Jill one day made one. She got the whole pie done and and then realized there was no sugar in it. No, you ate it. Did I start to eat it and realize there was no sugar in it? it? But then I discovered and if you put enough vanilla ice cream on it and you take some with every scoop, it doesn't matter on the sugar. So even then, it it's never really failed, even when you let the sugar out. Should I go show them what new I got? Um, that I got yesterday. Yeah? Do you want to show them what you got new? That looks absolutely Yeah, Michelle stylish. said it looks like you're in pain, yeah. I'm having shooting pains going up my foot, like somebody stabbing my bottom of my foot with a knife. Sorry. So. Oh, the other Michelle says, I just noticed the beautiful flowers by the sink. Thank you. Michael bought those for me day before yesterday. Wonderful hubby that he is. Yay. Uh, and. I couldn't pass those up. They were too amazing. They were gorgeous. They're actually. Can you zoom in on those? Oh, yeah. Look at. Okay. Dave will show you what he got first. Doesn't he look very studious? You look very studious. You look like you're smarter. Did you get smarter when you put them on? No, but it looks a lot clearer. I would say a superhero is just put this on and suddenly they're indistinguishable from what they look like before. <laughs> Everyone at school is always like, hey David, whether I have this on or not. So, you know. <laughs> Ask Uncle Dave, he's Superman. <laughs> oh, Jack, your fan club is here. Everybody's saying, hey, cutie Jack. Andrea wants to know, did you watch all the Bachelor cooking videos? Did you watch any of the Bachelor cooking videos? I didn't even know there was a Bachelor cooking the video. The ones the way we were cooking while you were gone. Oh yeah, yeah, you guys we did. Dave, can you zoom in on my flowers and yeah, show them my flowers? Them. Oh wait, Dad will just grab them. Wow, look better that way. Whoa, here they are. Dun, 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 dun. Aren't those beautiful? They're the prettiest beautiful. ones I think I've ever seen there. <laughs> They are just lovely. So, um, we got Dave new glasses. Those are, we always order for online and those glasses have the changing sunshine stuff. What do you call them? What do you call those glasses? Oh, the Transitions, the lenses. The tints. And Excuse me. Nah, fam, you can deal with the shooting. Wait, and uh, they were only $34. Yeah, online. I accidentally got it dirty. I need to clean it off. $34. I'm seeing streaks so, now because I didn't clean well, it. Encouragement for you, dear. Karen said, I'm surprised you did that well with the crust with the heat and the lights. Tara is amazing. Well, thank you. A lot of people were noting how amazing you were. I well, think. thank you. I Not didn't know I was amazing. Shooting. Right now, I feel like I'm... Um, Got one foot in the grave. Oh, Sandra, 
Uh, Sandra also says she buys the pie. She rarely makes pie dough, but buys it at the store. But if you use this recipe, you'll never go back to the I'm store. I'm telling you, you won't. It's we awesome. used to have a family member that just raved about his pies and how great they were, and they were pretty nasty. <laughs> Here, I'll share the pie crust recipe again. We were like, yeah. So one day, we one year, we made the pies, and oh man, we never went back again. We're like, <laughs> yeah, I think we'll be making the pies. Okay, so I'm making, I'm cutting this soap. This one is my snowflake, sparkling snowflake that I made yesterday. Perfect so while I'm here. cutting, oh man, this smells so good. Mike put up my Etsy store. I don't have a picture yet because I'm just now cutting it, but I did put it for sale if you guys want to. This is like a refreshing peppermint. Oh, that is delish. It just smells like winter. It just smells so uh, delicious. I just had the Etsy store. What did I do with it? Here it is. Um, get my, it's the, I'm sharing a link that says get my homemade soaps here. And that's the one. To oh, share. wow. This is really this. set this up. How many hard. of these did you make? Like if there's a run on the um, store, or do you have enough? I only have seven of this one. Seven slices or seven loaves? Seven slices. Oh man, let me smell it again. What does that smell? It's really Sparkling good. Sparkling snowflake. That one will be ours. There's something, it smells very familiar, but not we'll as a We'll go snowflake. and I can tell you, here's here's the description. Right, scroll down. Um, right there. The description is... Picture coming soon. Scroll down. <laughs> it is notes of light and airy white musk oh. mingled with fruity citrus and succulent sweet raspberries with just the smallest tease of bergamot and whisper of jasmine. Hmm. To round it out, we have a sweet and creamy peppermint with a touch of dark chocolate. Man, you sound like you should be writing art commentary. <laughs> Who? You got soap all over your face. Oh, now you really got it all over your face. Um, Did I touch it? Apparently. This is our bar, so it doesn't matter. But... um. I always keep one bar from every loaf. So I made three soaps yesterday and they actually all turned out. I could not believe it. I was so excited with myself. So. Everyone's concerned about you. Oh, thank you guys. Wow. I would say sparkling snowflake is a thumbs up. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Mmm. Oh man, that smells so good. I may have to get more of that. That was just a little <laughs> sampler that I got. Tony says, I have a better story than that. I made an apricot cobbler for my mother and stepdad's birthday, and I sprinkled the top with cinnamon and sugar, or so I thought. She said, I grabbed my Cajun seasoning and sprinkled <gasps> that over the top. Oh my I've yet to lay that down. <laughs> Cajun? That's like when I put, when I was a kid and I went to a salad bar and I was so excited about putting <laughs> whipped cream on the jello and I slathered all this whipped cream on there, and when I got there, I discovered it was sour cream. <laughs> Wow. I'm loving this one, guys. What do you think? Are you guys liking it? Okay, that I'm going to save the rest because I, for my, so if you guys like my soaps, I have a soap YouTube channel. Michael put the link up there. I'm going to save the rest to cut for my YouTube channel, but then I'll do my next one, which is Little Black Dress, although I'm slightly disappointed because it was supposed to be black and it turned out more gray than black. So it's a little gray dress. So it's a little gray dress. <laughs> But look I, at that. I just shared the soap channel link. And see the little kisses? Oh, nice. All right. So those are leaves. So let's try this one and see what happens. You think the young viewers noticed that I looked over my glasses? Probably not. Everyone in their 40s and 50s knows what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute. Not quite what I, I mean. I didn't want the gray, but oh well. <laughs> That's okay. Turned out pretty. Oh, I like still it. still are really pretty. So this one's ours. Mmm, that one smells good too. Oh, man. Would you like to smell me slathered, slathered in that beer? Yep. <laughs> that would be great. Everyone's it's typing TMI in all caps. <laughs> yeah. Brenda is asking $34. Where? $34? For Zenny. Oh, yeah. We need to do an affiliate with them. Oh. Should I? Oh. I get them online at Zenny Optical. So like before David wanted the transitions, his glasses were like $12. And it's $5 shipping for the whole, no matter how many you want. So like we just bought Mike, Ellie, and David all a pair of glasses. And uh, this is not an affiliate only... link, no. but I'm sharing it anyway because we love getting glasses there. And we've shopped there for more than so you four, really know. It's 14 good. years, 15, 15 years we've shopped there. 
I'm sharing. It says so, here's where we get the glasses cheap. That is. Oops, that one got a little hole. So hmm. basically, this is like a. They're like a wholesaler that sells to places like Walmart and stuff that yeah. then sells it to you at a marked up price. But yeah. this place is less. So we get $34 for his. How much for mine? Yeah. Uh, mine are new too. Yours. Okay, just another five minutes or so. Yours were $35 too. Nice. Yep. Okay, so that's little black dress. That's looking pretty good. Hi, Georgiana hmm. in San Antonio. Okay, and then the last one I did was black tie. Now this... <laughs> For is... the singularity says you should call the, that soap little gray number instead. <laughs> That's should... awesome, Jonathan. I should have you go in and change the... Change the... Uh, Rebecca says little gray it. dress. See, I always just change the name. When something doesn't work out, I just change the name. <laughs> well, that was like your mountain majesty or something. You ended up calling it... The mountains were... My mountains fell. And the valleys were wider and the mountains fell, so we called it Big Sky Country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I changed it. Okay, so hold on, let's... Oh, Cassie says she was one of your first subscribers on the soap channel. Thank you so much. Send me your address and I'll send you some soap. <gasps> Thank <Whoa>. you. <laughs> I'm going to share the soap channel link again. Okay, maybe we should do a soap giveaway today. On top of hers, what do you think? How would you do that? I don't know. Let's see, what can we do for a soap giveaway? Uh, oh, Susan's asking how do you order online. I think that's for the glasses. I shared the Zenny link, but I'll share it again, Susan. Wow. Um, this okay. is not an affiliate link. We just share it because we like it. Yeah. Okay, this is still really soft. So I hope it'll work. Let's see. Woo, that oh, is soft. Nice as like butter. Oh. Black tie. Okay, well, there's more white than black in that one. Hmm. Do you remember that one? I gave I it to you again. two years ago. You did? Mm -hmm. It smells good. Where'd you get it? From what? Uh, it was one of the first soaps I did, actually, when I started making soaps again. Hmm. <laughs> so that's black tie, but it looks more like... Hmm. I don't know that that would be black tie. I didn't get enough black in it. Hmm. Call it white tie. Maybe I could call it white tie. Inverse tie. <laughs> Inverse tie. <laughs> Des said I made your pie crust last Thanksgiving and got so many raves about it. Very delicious. Thank We're you. So it's That's... awesome that you've been here that long too. I know. That's mom's recipe. I don't take credit for it. It's mom's recipe. <laughs> Tura says so. she made deodorant soap today. I didn't know you could do that. Yes, you can. Wow. Good going. All right, so I'm going to let this set up just a little bit longer because it's pretty soft. Aw, uh, thank you, Hoffman Family Homestead. He said, I love your soaps and have learned so much from you. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm okay. going to really share the soap channel link again. So, so this is it. one of my lotion bars. And for those of you who had my lotion bar and want them again, I'm making them again because it's cooled down. I can ship them. Uh, Oh, Jack was telling me how much he loves those yesterday. So that one is Jack's lotion bar, but he's having a hard time and he wants it in uh, a container a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it into an actual lotion for him. So oh, I'll show you how I do that while we're waiting for the pie to finish. Okay, so I'm melting my oils and my beeswax, which are already in a lotion bar, but wow, this kitchen smells so good now. <laughs> uh, Becky was asking, do they even do bifocals? They do bifocals. I don't know if they do trifocals, but they have the computer uh, blue. I got the computer glasses once. Those worked great. They have the transition lenses. They have bifocals, they have, like, I have to have super thick lenses, and they make those. There is an extra charge, so that my super extra thick lenses for bifocals was $70. So, yeah. Okay, so people are sharing their disaster stories now. Karen has the worst one, I think, so far. She says, when I was newlywed, my mom was coming to visit, and I wanted to make her a hamburger steak. 
kept my canola oil, oil under the sink with a cleaning product since it was so tall. She arrived and I realized I was sauteing my onions <gasps> and pine salt. <laughs> she took us out to eat. Wow, that must have been an awful stink, pine salt and onions together. How in the world? Okay, no offense, but how in the world could you not know it was pine salt? Well, That's crazy. I have to say, in the early days, it wasn't beyond you making mistakes like that sometimes. Pine salt? Well, never pine salt. I mean, you would you would think you would smell the pine salt. Cindy's asking, do we have a timer on the pie? Yeah, it's almost done. So. Oh, um, thank you, Beverly. Beverly says we're awesome. Well, thank you. Joanne would like to win a soap. All right. So what, what are you doing with the do soap? For a soap winner, let's see. We should decide this ahead of time. We'll do a giveaway. I think what we should start doing is just do our giveaways on the live shows. And then people have to watch if they want to win. Uh, for everyone who's inquiring, I'm also sharing the link to... It says Get My Homemade Soap here. This is her Etsy store where she sells the ones that she makes on the show. And like I said, I do have my big lotion bars, but everybody was loving. Loving, loving, <laughs> loving. Black tile. My tie. <laughs> Black tile for this for the <laughs> yeah different. Actually, that does you know what it looks like? It looks like those fancy stone or stone floors in the hotels, like in the movies. Call it marble. Oh yeah. Okay. <gasps> Oops. Oh, Elizabeth says I love your soaps. I've used them as gifts when I visit Europe. They love them too. Lots of suds. Lots of suds. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, well, thank you. I'm gonna. Sh everyone's asking about the eyeglass place, so I'm gonna share that again. I'm telling you, Zenny needs to send us some free glasses. If they even know we're sharing, they don't even know we're sharing their stuff. But we discovered them, and they were really good. They are really super good. Michelle, oh, okay. I don't know what prism lenses okay. are. Prism? Yeah, they have. They have those too, I think. Okay, now. Okay, I want you to hold it up to the camera so they can see it. Is this a hot pack? Yeah. Okay, so a couple of things here. This is why right here you sit on there, dude. Put it on a tray. Because it bubbles over like that. Now, that's really rustic, but it looks that pretty looks good. Amazing. Even if I say so myself. Here, let me move my soap out of the way. Hold on. That looks completely amazing. And. Smells okay, even there. better than it looks. Now you uh, can set it on oh, there. So I don't want to melt you know, won't. Jamie's birthday candle over. Soap over here. Uh, let's see. Alright. Yay. Uh, I guess we'll go with that. Just leave it alone and then it won't burn somebody. <laughs> okay. So there is the beautiful, wonderful apple pie. While we're tempting everyone with our soap giveaway, what should we do for our soap giveaway? Uh, I have no idea. You're the one that gets the big ideas. Okay. Let's see. Hi, Tina. Uh, oops. I think we tripped the breaker. We lost a light. How did we trip a breaker? Well, it's usually that's the reason it goes off. Oh, great. Okay, so while I'm mixing up Jack's lotion here, Yep, back on. Okay, see? see? Oh, good grief. Okay, so if you want to know how to make this lotion that I'm making for Jack right now, it is on page 432, right here. Oh, no. Bless you. Wait. Right there, page 432. What's on page 432? My... Uh, lotion. Ooh, it's in the book? Yeah. If you don't have the book and you want it, I'm sharing the link right now. Okay. I forgot. Rest pretty in. Is that in Pretty for Pennies? Yes. We used to have a separate book called Pretty for Pennies and it's in there. Yep, and it's in dining. Okay. So then I just mix it all together. And then it makes a nice little lotion. I'll just put this in a little jar for him. Marlene is asking, where do you get those baking pads? Is that these red ones like that? What's oh, that Cuisinart? I have no idea where I got it from. Maybe they're on Amazon. I don't know. So I just keep whisking until all the 
little, you can mix it with a hand mixer if you want to. And I just mix and mix and mix until all the stuff comes out, just like so. And if you want to add an oil, like a smelly oil, like cucumber, melon, or whatever you want. Oh, what would we call besides pads? Uh, Cuisinart hot pads? Taped baking pads. Hot, hot holders. Hot holder. Ah, like that. There it is. Whoa! I didn't pay that much They're for kind it. They're pricey. I have no idea where I got it from. Well, here's two, actually, here's two. Oh, that must have been where I got it from, because I know I didn't pay that much for them. Okay, so then you just mix it up like that. Try not to fling it all over my pie. And then I'm going to put in his little jar here. And then it'll set up as soon as it cools, it'll set up a little bit. And then he will have a lovely, oops. Oh well, I'm too tired to pick it up. Then he will have a lovely little lotion that he can spread. Oops, I got way too much. Oh, well. They call it a multi-purpose silicone kitchen tool trivet pot holder. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of words to say a pot holder. Yeah. Okay, I got way too much of this. <laughs> That's what I get. Okay. Um, I forgot who asked, but I'm going to share that link to those silicone pot holder things. Apparently, you're supposed to be able to use them for a lot of stuff. I didn't realize it was See, a pothole. Now I feel how moisture my hands Ooh. are. Aren't they soft and supple? Nice. Like a baby's butt? Like a baby's butt. Um, there you go. Doesn't that look beautiful? Yes. So, Oops. I'm slightly So dying. Des made my pie crust. Wow, that's great. All right, soap giveaway. What should we do for a soap giveaway? Let's see. I'll give away four bars of soap. And... Let's see, everybody post, everybody go to my Etsy store, Michael put the link, post your favorite soap that you like on there, so it'll help me to know what kind of things you guys like. I'll give you Oops, let me get about this. five minutes to do it, and I will pick a winner from, I'll pick two winners, one on Facebook and one on YouTube. Some people won't hear it for five minutes. From the comments, that's fine. I'll give you guys just a little bit, okay? All right. All right, so go to my Etsy store, just shared the link. Oh, I shared get my homemade soaps here. That's the Etsy store. Sorry. Do I need to change it and say the Etsy store? It's fine. Pick a soap that you would love. I'll share it more than once here in the comments in case you missed it. Out of everything I have available for sale right now. And um, actually what I should do is have them subscribe to my YouTube channel too and give a soap away. So then I can get more subscribers on my YouTube channel because I need more subscribers on my YouTube channel. I need some encouragement to keep going on. Don't you agree? Yes. Okay, so, so if you want to be entered into the soap contest right now, go over to my Etsy store, pick out your favorite soap, tell me the name, so and I will pick a winner from Facebook and YouTube of one of you guys. Everyone's so. loving the pie. Doesn't it look us, delicious? Oh. Even though it's rustic, I think it still looks good. Don't you guys agree? Give me a thumbs up if you agree. Uh, yes, Sharon, I, I will share the pie crust recipe, and I'll probably, right after it, share the pie recipe. Is there a so way? So here's the pie crust recipe. I'm saying this here because Boom. someone out there might know. But is there a way to keep my nose from making that oil, like the water-resistant oil or whatever? Because it keep keeps it on sliding down. getting like super oily and then just... <laughs> I think it's well, called yeah. being a teenager, Ellie I says. Suffer from the same Ellie suffers from the same disorder. I'm going to reshare the uh, Etsy store. It says get question. my homemade soap here. That's where you have just a minute or two more to do what? To get to, to try to write to down the name of the one that you like the most. Um, what did they say I should call the little gray, little gray dress? No, little gray number. Jonathan said the little gray number. <laughs> Somebody else said I little gray dress. So these are all for sale now, although the ones I cut today won't ship for four weeks because they have to cure, so. You guys are so funny. You're you great are? and smart. Thank no, you. No, Doug. Did you sneeze in your well, pies? <laughs> I did not sneeze in my pies. I sneezed inside my shirt. So. 
Maybe I what? Maybe she meant the sill pat. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Oh, did she mean the sill pat? Maybe she meant the sill pat. The sill pat is in. Um... Yeah. Let's see. I have that. Yeah. So we don't have that other thing on there, but we have the sill pad on the, our little Amazon store right here. So I'm sharing that link in case you want to go look for that. Oh, the man. sill pad is the flat sheet that we bake on, and that is so convenient. I am sorry. I just make the best lotion ever. Yes, I don't mean do. to toot my own horn, but it's just feel Ooh, that nice. lovely softness. Yep. Oh, Amy says gray would make nice men soap. Yes, I, I have actually five or six men's fragrances I'm going to do up for Christmas, and I've got several colors I'm going to be doing. Well, Cassie says uh, all your videos were on autoplay on the Roku yesterday. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Ooh, actually, Joyce says my Aunt Gert always had cheese with her apple pie. Yeah. I, you did that too, didn't you? Mom point? and I used to eat it that way, yeah. Yep. Shauna says you've inspired her to try like, making pie crust. So, uh, David! Can you point the camera down for a second? Okay, so I want to show you guys something. So, Mike brought the apples home literally 30 minutes before the show. And I was frantically cutting up apples and getting the pie put together. And I kid you not, this pie crust completely fell all apart because I was hurrying. And there was probably 25 pieces on here. But look how nice it turned out. It's rustic. I think it turned out nice and it looks yummy, don't you it's think? It's super beautiful. Even with all it of that? It tastes even amazing. I mean, Mike cannot say enough about how awesome How this awesome tastes. it is. If it wasn't so hot, I would cut a piece, but I think all the juice would run out because it hasn't gotten cooled enough yet. I'm glad it's food day. You're glad it's food day? Yes. <laughs> Put your name. Oh. Jack said he doesn't like apple pie. He put that on YouTube. You don't like, have you ever tried, you apple, even tried pie? apple pie? I have tried it. No, have you, you tried have Nan it. and Mom's apple pie? Yes. When? A long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I think you would love it. When I was... I think you I would love seven, it. I was seven, Mom. Okay, so do we have... I'll give you guys one more minute to pick out your favorite soap, and we will go through and I'll... Pick a winner, okay? Um, okay, so do I need to share the link again or is it gonna be too late for people by the time? Mm, it'll probably be too late. Denise said, I'd rather eat your rustic pie than a store-bought one. It no is kidding. truly amazing. Seriously. Lavender, lavender, your cherry pie, berry cherry. Wait, I hate to come pie in here? and I love this one. Yeah. Oh, they're on coming YouTube. in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. do we have enough? They're rolling off the screen. Am I supposed to be keeping track of that? Oh. That's the thing about Facebook. Facebook. I thought you were saying comment on the Etsy store. That's why I kept sharing oh, that link. Oh, shoot. Okay, so you, there were so many of you going. I didn't think this many people would want to. Go in for the Facebook thing. We will pick Facebook after the show, and I will private message the winner. Okay? I'm sorry. But, so but we'll how go... are we going to see them? Because they're all gone. They, no, they're not. They, they're on there after, the, after it posts. Oh, all the comments? Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. So I'll go in and pick a winner after the show. Okay? So let's go to YouTube. Okay, here we go. So the you Facebook ready? one we're going to pick after the show and announce it on Monday. Yeah. Okay. And I'll send you a private message if you're on Facebook. Okay, you ready? Well, you do that part. Okay. Here we go. So I don't mess it up. Well, I just want you to scroll through because then I won't see who it is. Okay. So scroll. Wait, wait hold on. The whole page is scrolling, not the comments. <gasps> scroll. So Stop. Margaret. 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 Oh, yay. Margaret, Margaret. Bedwell. All right, Margaret, we will send you four soaps, Margaret. Do you, we have send her address? Me, I think I have your address from your last letter. I don't know. Oh, send me. Is Margaret sent me the one of my pieces oh, of fan mail? Oh, do you still have it? I do. Okay, I, I have Margaret's address. Yes. All right. So then on Facebook, we'll pick it after the show goes off. So that everybody can have a fair chance. And. Oh, Naomi says, really love your show. Thank you, Naomi. Well, thank you. Yeah, Should everybody... we cut the pie and see if it's good before we go? Spearmint eucalyptus. Well, that sounds delicious, too. 
Mm. Okay, grab a plate. Let's see if we can get this out. So for those who posted on Facebook, uh, as Tara said, we'll, we'll randomly pick uh, after the show and mention it on Monday who went on Facebook. Yeah, and I'll private message you on Facebook. So, oh yeah, right, okay. Yeah, I'll private message you on Facebook. I'm stealing this. Ooh, Anastasia says, Spearmint eucalyptus. I use a pillow spray with that scent for my bed. Love the combo. So relaxing. Ooh, that sound nice. Relaxing. Okay, now let's see if I can get this. It's super hot. Woo, oh my. That's a humongous piece. Uh, Jamie sorry. says she'll add a soap to the giveaway. Oh, thanks, Jamie. So Jamie makes soaps too with me sometimes. Wait, this is just the apples here. I need some crust. Well, there's some right there. Yep. Oh, here. It's hot. Don't burn yourself. Uh-oh. I'm it apart. <clears throat> is it delicious? Mm -hmm. I hope. It is, but I'll probably let it cool a little more. Whoa, that is yummy. We need to go see if the ice cream is still in the freezer. I hope so. <laughs> oh, yum. This is awesome. Your wife makes a good pie. You do. You should throw some extra crust on there, too. From whatever you got left. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm, mm. mm. Jill and Tara would make these at Christmas when we lived in Idaho. And I would just eat it, like, for breakfast. I would just eat a piece of pie. Because <laughs> it's so amazing. Uh, speaking Besides, of... It's full of fruit, right? That's going to be good. it is. So speaking of Idaho, I shouldn't get on this now because we need to go, but so You're starting I've been looking here. at all of our places to move and all our qualifications for where we need to move. It's Idaho. Cheap taxes. The other day you said it was Wisconsin. Cool winters, or I mean cool summers. Cheap houses. I don't know. If we should go back to Idaho or not. Hmm. Everybody keeps saying Wisconsin's too hot and humid. Ow. Ow! Mm. That's hot. All I say is it's got to be the same place for like a year straight. Oh, we've lived in the same place for more than a year. No, no, no. Year. I mean, we have to have the same place in mind. Oh. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. Denise says torture us more with the pie. It is so delicious. It's good. I wish all of you were here to eat it. Yeah. Ooh, mm. Janine says apple pie with milk and sugar. Yummy Pennsylvania way. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Did you put up the link to the cookbooks? Uh, no, but I can. Let's see. Here, I've been doing all this cooking about, talking about cooking. Well, I put it in different times during the show, wow. but, but not recently. Okay, so here's, uh, oops. Oh, somehow I got somebody else's name in there. Okay, I am sharing the cookbook link again right here for those of you who are asking towards the end here. Are you clapping your hands because it's time to go? Yes. So if you want to know so, how to make apple pie or how to make homemade lotion, please check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook. It's the same thing every time. Just with, like, put very Give us a thumbs thing. up, like, and subscribe and share, guys, because we need all the love spread that we can. Don't you agree? Yes. Yes, we do. And when we hit 60,000 subscribers on YouTube, so we're giving another way, away another one of Mom's aprons. <sighs> and we're getting close. We're almost to 57,000. Where, where does it say how many we have? I don't know, but today it was like 56,000 something. And at 60, we're giving away another apron? Woohoo! Yep. Let's we see. have 56,878. So we're almost to 60,000 as soon as we get to 60,000. So. So Michelle says we shouldn't forget the ice cream. Should we put a scoop on before we go? Or no. No. <laughs> we'll put a scoop on after we go. So we won't tempt you. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thank you for visiting us, and we will see you later. Have an awesome weekend. Bye. Bye. Uh, come on. Uh, i got to get to join it. Bye. Bye. Popping chicken status.